Hey everyone, it's the Flying Collector. Welcome to the channel. This just released by Rifle right, Few Models, the Panther Ausrum F with workable track links and two main guns, the L70 and the L100. Some history on the tank. The Panther was deployed in World War II on both fronts, the Eastern and the Western Front. This variant, the Ausrum F, never made it in, into production. I think the war ended before it was even manufactured. For the kit itself, the box art is okay. Um, the variant on the front here is the one with the L70. Crew member is showed, but I don't think a crew member is even included in the box in the first place. At the bottom, they, sh they show you how the uh, two different guns will look like when completed. At the front, sorry, at the top, the uh, different color profiles. Wheels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, sixteen spruce. Starting off with sprue A, this is the main hull. I'm not sure if you can see it, but the surface is actually fully textured, giving that realistic cast iron appearance. Very nice. Next up, sprue X. There are actually two of these sprues in the box. These are mainly track parts, like the other wheel, road wheels. And this looks like the guide for assembling the tracks. Sprue L2, there are also two of these sprues, the infamous staggered German road wheels of World War II. No visible more lines, so no complaints at all. Sprue 
Sprue Bee. There are also two of Sprue Bees in the box. These are the torsion bar suspensions. Next up is Sprue D, a rather small sprue, mainly the uh, handlebars, lights, and other little bitsy pieces. Next up is another sprue A. It might be an error in the naming somewhere. This sprue houses the parts for the main gun and the turret. The turret and the hatches are textured as well with that realistic cast iron surface appearance. The main gun is complete with one piece, but I would have preferred a metal barrel. Look at this rifle. Incredible detail. Both gun options are on this sprue. Sprue F, these are parts for the bottom hull. Nothing much to see here and the rear bulkhead. There are some detail on the inside of the bottom hull. Not sure why they included that. It's going to be hidden anyway. Sprue J, mainly the exterior accessories like the tools, weapons, and whatnot. The cover for the machine gun may need some texturing. Other than that, I don't think I'm going to need any detail up parts for this kit. It's very uh, sharply molded. Next up is Sprue G, exterior boxes and panels. Okay, maybe some photo edge for this would be nice. They look a little bit too perfect for my liking. There needs to be some metal damage here and there, especially on the side skirts and the panels. Sprue C, more road wheels, the sprocket wheel, more suspension parts, and also parts for the uh, rear exhaust. The next sprue is sprue N. Sprue N is a little special. It is from the Rifle Models Yak Panther kit. They have included this sprue for just a handful of parts. I think it's the uh, hatches over here. And I think the rest will be going into my spare box. Sprue P is made of rubber, mainly the poly caps and seals for the wheels. They've also included a little string to act as the tow rope. I will definitely be replacing this with a proper metal cable. And before I forget, there is a bag for the individual tracks. They are molded in pairs. Clear parts, just the periscopes, nothing much to talk about.
Lastly, the photo edge parts for the vans and fasteners. There are option parts with more photo edge that can be purchased separately. It's, I think it's called the Upgrade Solution series. And I'm starting to regret not buying that. I could really use the photo edge for a lot of those uh, side skirts and panels. This kit is not bad, detail is pretty good, and the build looks pretty straightforward. It's probably good enough to build out of the box, but if you are looking to add that slight more realism, you might want to get the upgrade solution. I hope this unboxing has been useful to you, and as always, do leave your thoughts in the comments below. Thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe to support me, and I'll see you in the next episode. Take care.